I thought I heard Daniel drive up. So that's what it was. The bowls. And Paul just yelled something to her. Endless. <sighs> what a joke that people. So the reason I continue to listen is to hear what on earth Robin, who's the one that really does it more than Paul, would say while they're standing out there gossiping about what's going on and pretending that, you know, this is my fault when I've had to live with this for years and Robin has just done everything in her power to make it worse and drag people that have nothing to do with her problem with me into it. And then they start threatening me. Dumbass, uneducated animals don't even know. I mean, they, they completely cross the line. And I offer an olive branch so many times. Like, they had multiple chances to say, you know, my bad. Sorry. Start over. And you can even fake saying something like that. Just to create a remotely peaceful atmosphere that we all have to coexist in, etc. But no. When I am forced to listen at my door to see if the coast is clear, and I hear, oh, I like to torture mice and stick pins in their head, and I'm practicing on the live ones. After years of, you know, at least... Three times I've heard him say, I'll kill her or get rid of her. And then you can't really capture the tone in the tape. So my recordings are really just proof of what I heard. And good luck to them trying to deny every breath, every moment, every step, every second it takes to go from point A to point B because these people are fucking liars. I don't know why they bother to go to church, honestly. They go to church to socialize. This woman who I'm not going to name. Can you tell who I'm talking about by my tone? She's the kind of woman who would go to church to get laid. And, and in fact, I would say half the congregation go there, if not more, to just really to socialize. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with wanting to go out and meet someone and date people, etc. But, but they use church to do that, which is... 
no surprise, a lot of people live that way. But when, but when you've been charged with manslaughter for killing your baby, and 25 years later you're still threatening people that did nothing to you, that says something about your 25 years of church going, being a little bit shallow. I don't know. I'm fucking sick of it. I don't care if I sound like an asshole. I'm burnt out from this shit. And you all can go fuck yourself. Daniel, from what I hear, has nowhere to live. And the difference between he and I is I don't feel good about that. I don't I don't want to even think about it. I don't I don't care. But I don't feel good that he's in such a bad place and in fact it scares me that he could psychologically snap and because he's a moron enough to think that he has the right to blame me. But the point being this is how we're different. He would relish. It, just like he said he would love to stick needles in my head. Or knives, I assume, is what he meant for his his bigger catch. And you know he's not kidding because I've heard his conversations with his horror movie sales with his customers. Is the mayor one of your customers? Pimpster. Dragging the neighborhood into it. And we're going to pretend that Hmm. Some guy shows up saying, I got $40,000 after family's murdered. And there was the amount of $40,000 discussed. I'm a bad person for bringing that up, really? Am I? Am I a snitch? Because a little boy was tortured the way you torture my... Am I? Am I? Because if it's not true, we could all laugh about it, right? I'd love to laugh about it. I'd love someone to say, how could you think that about me? And then I get to say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm under all this pressure, it must be the stress. Or, maybe it is him. Marilyn Plates. That's all I'm saying. I hope I'm wrong. I shouldn't have, I wish I didn't say that because I don't put any effort into noticing shit because after the three years, I've been forced to live on alert. ISIS? LOL. Think about these disgusting human beings. And the military goes overseas to protect who? To protect them? Really? It's all one sick ass show.